Many of you had seen K. Sivan's reaction on the unsuccessful landing on the Chandrayaan 2. This time, we have his reaction on the successful launching and even landing of the India's third moon mission, the Chandrayaan 3. Listen in to what the former ISRO chief had to say. I am extremely happy to see the success that uh, Chandrayaan 2 we could not uh, achieve the landing but uh, we could uh, see that uh, achieve the successful uh, landing mission now. I am extremely happy and also not only myself that in their ISRO community would be very 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 happy. Why ISRO community? The entire nation of the India, I mean, the entire nation is really happy with this particular achievement, I would say. The reason is this, first of all, by landing successfully, we have acquired a, a new technology of uh, landing on a celestial body. That is a one big uh, plus point we got. And the second one is that uh, by landing in the southern pol polar region, which is already, uh, which is, it is never explored, it's an unexplored region. So there is a many new signs are expected to happen. This is the expectations from the, the scientists from the global community. So the, the data whatever Chandrayaan 3 is uh, going to create, it will be useful for the, not only for the Indian scientists, for the entire global scientists it will be useful. That way, this particular uh, achievement, what we have today achieved, is uh, really fantastic and it will be very, very important for uh, India as well as for the global community. The mapping done by the orbiter of the Chandrayaan 2, it was uh, really helpful for Chandrayaan 3 to identify the location, also that is to identify the a location with a larger area so that way it is a it's a very very beneficial for this Chandrayaan 3 mission because earlier we were uh, the, uh, the planning to do with a very narrow region for landing now because of that Chandrayaan 2 mapping this one we are uh, uh, identify the uh, landing location with a wide uh, variations in the in the landing area India is indeed on the moon. The Vikram lander has done its share. Now the question arises, what's next? How will India's moon mission help the country and the world? Listen from the moon man of India himself, Dr. M. Anadurai, the former director of ISRO Satellite Center. This is what he had to say. Lunar dust shape and satellite has been verified uh, 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 by the lander cameras, which is kept outside the lander. So then I think the ground command uh, will go uh, to open the panel in which uh, our the pregnant has been mounted. So once it is coming out, then it will, there is a, some fire activity. So the which is mechanically attached to the uh, lander panel, the pregnant will uh, to come out that uh, pyro will open, cut it and then it will, it will roll down because it is a powered uh, six wheel powered uh, motors will enable the uh, bringing on to come down and while coming down anyhow the uh, solar panel also it will try to open its own solar panel bringing on which have been a folded configuration so the whole thing I think we will be able to uh, visualize not only visualize we will be able to take a video of the whole thing by the mother craft lander uh, as it is rolling down uh, but uh, when it is uh, rolling down after rolling down when it touches the lunar surface I think that is the excitement uh, will come uh, like Armstrong landed and his foot uh, footprint is imprinted on the lunar surface. I think something similar uh, with the lunar river moving some few meters away uh, and the lunar so called sonar, lunar recolith that is the lunar soil which will have been a powder condition in that uh, when the wheels keep moving uh, two of the wheels uh, having the uh, one of the wheel having the uh, Indian emblem with the four lines probably these three faces of the line we will be able to see. And another one is uh, our uh, emblem of ISRO, we will see, uh, making uh, India made uh, the system is uh, moving into the lunar soil, which has not been explored as on today by anybody. 
So that will be a moment of rejoice for the whole of India. I foresee 14 days uh, from the first day of landing on 23rd all the way. Uh, 14 days uh, sunlight and the landing places may be available. So that will be used for the uh, operation of the lander as well as the rover. But 14th day when the sunlight is going to set, I think there will be some preparatory maneuvers though it is documented uh, well. Uh, uh, I, I think somewhere uh, slightly uh, uh, Chairman Isro has indicated uh, that means uh, the both the lander and the rover, uh, some preparatory maneuvers will be done, uh, switching off the, all the instruments and uh, trying to put them in safe mode, even on the lone uh, rover, uh, trying to fold the solar uh, uh, panel uh, such that it is trying to see whether it can live through. For example, when cold comes, we will cover ourselves uh, with the sweaters, coats, uh, something like that. So that the long lunar night, uh, 14 days uh, uh, without power, without sunlight, it may be cold, whether it can live through that, some experiment is planned. But next day, that means after 14 days of night, uh, when the sunlight is coming, we have everything getting warmed, uh, naturally getting, getting warmed by the sunlight, by the uh, sunbathing of the lander and the pregnant is concerned. So after that, possibly at the end of the first, first, first day, uh, there is something called a wake up circuit. So when, when it is going, there is some sleep circuit will make everything to sleep such so that everything is uh, trying to preserve with the off condition. Electronics off condition can live for a, you can sustain for a longer duration. Uh, the, the, even if the cold temperature. So that I think when it comes out, it's getting heated up, I think there will be an attempt to power on. Uh, if like Mangalyan you are able to uh, able to live through that uh, eclipse, I think definitely uh, we will we will have uh, some more uh, uh, life for the Pragnan. So definitely it gives an edge to explore the unknown things, uh, possibility of uh, some rare systems uh, beyond water, water being that, it enables uh, the humans to stay for longer time. Uh, if you really, really to go and uh, stay a longer time, but uh, towards that, I think we need a good number of uh, missions. So this soft landing and uh, 14 days operation of the uh, uh, small robotic system uh, will be a stepping stone for the future to start with the robotic uh, uh, missions. So to stay a longer time and as well as possibly try to bring some uh, rare discovery or anything is there back to the earth. Uh, eventually, it may lead to a possible, possible human colony. So, while that's happening, I see another far-reaching thing for internationally. The International uh, Space Station, which is getting aged, needs to be renovated, regenerated, a new generation space station being talked about. Uh, why not International Lunar Space Station? Uh, I think that uh, probably uh, the seed thoughts were there. Now, with the Chandrayaan-3, that may, uh, that step may go. Uh, further better way, India playing a reasonably good active, possibly even loading, leading role uh, to setting up the International Lunar Space Station. This time, this International Lunar Space Station, not only on the lunar base, that will enable a possible in-situ uh, 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 researchers. Uh, that means all along, whatever some materials, if we take some experiments, uh, will be taken from here to uh, uh, space station, do experiments there. But now taking the in-situ uh, uh, systems and trying to see whether how to uh, harvest water, how to harvest a new uh, possible new energy sources, uh, something like that also can happen uh, in the lunar surface. I think towards that this International Lunar Space Station will play a second generation uh, system there. So there India playing a leading role is possible. Chandrayaan 1, 2, 3 I think gradually enables India to get that position. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.